the one thing to do before starting a business. I went fully into the business world in July 2008. However, before this time, I had read from more than 200 books about entrepreneurship, leadership, human relationship and others. Then, I thought that I was reading those books to learn how to build a business. But now looking back, I discovered that the most important thing those books did for me was to help me to do the single most important thing you need to do before starting a business. And that's what I want to show you in this video. Now, if you're new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Let's get into it. You see, after reading hundreds of books with the intention to learn how to build a business, I eventually discovered that the single most important thing those books did for me was to change the way I see the world. In other words, the very first thing you need to do before starting business is to change the way you see the world. Let me explain. You see, most people of the world were trained to be employees. Because of this, the way they are programmed to see the world isn't like problem solvers. In fact, the world we are trained to see most of the times is a world of security. A world where the government is the reason why things are bad. A world where we think of someone to give us jobs and take care of us for the rest of our lives. It's a world where nothing much comes from us. A world where whatever is wrong is other people's fault. Now that you want to be an entrepreneur, now that you are starting a business, even before you think about the business to start and how to raise money or build a team for such business, the very first thing you need to do is to change the way you see the world. Because until you change the way you see the world, you cannot change the world and entrepreneurship is about changing the world. So how should you see the world? First, start seeing yourself as a significant pillar in the world's affairs. Most of us were conditioned to see ourselves as, as one tiny insignificant part of the big world. The problem with this mindset is that you can't change the world except you can challenge the world. And you can't challenge the world if you think you're just one person out of 8 billion people. And if you can't challenge the world, you cannot build a great company. Because great companies are built by people who are crazy enough to think that everyone is wrong. To be a great entrepreneur, you must see yourself as a significant part of the world. As someone who matters. As someone who can change the world. As someone whose presence in the world is a blessing to the world. Yes, this sounds like pride. But of course, you need a good dose of pride to build a successful business. Second, stop thinking that our forefathers are right and always so. In our society today, it's so easy to believe that whatever has been in existence for 100 years is good. And that's why everyone likes it. Well, as Steve Jobs said, everything you see around you today got started from an ordinary human being who was probably not as smart as you are. Again, this sounds like pride, but such pride is highly needed to be a successful entrepreneur. You must be courageous enough to question the way things are done, even things that have been the way they are before you were born. Stop thinking that our forefathers were always right. We can challenge and change many things they created, and that's how great businesses are born. Third, stop expecting a messiah. We were all trained to expect a messiah, someone to give us a job, someone to fix our roads, economy and life, someone to take care of us when we are old and other things. Well, if you really want to be a successful entrepreneur, you have to stop expecting someone else to fix your life. You don't only have to be independent, you have to become a messiah. Watch and pay attention to how successful entrepreneurs talk about the world. Pay attention to how Elon Musk talks about electric cars and you see that he believes that he needs to save the world from the climate change. Watch and observe how Jack Ma talks about e-commerce. It's obvious he wants to save the world by helping small businesses grow. Watch videos of the early days of Microsoft and Apple and notice how Bill Gates and Steve Jobs were crazy about making the world a better place. Today, they have actually made our world a better place. Mark Zuckerberg is crazy about connecting the whole world. If you think it's money that is driving these people, just remember that they already have too much of it. What keeps these great entrepreneurs and others is that they wake up every morning to see themselves as messiahs. Someone who doesn't need help. Instead, someone who is sent to the world to help the world. To be a great entrepreneur, you must stop expecting someone else to help you. You must start seeing yourself as a helper, a messiah who is needed in the world. 4. Do the opposite of complaint. Everywhere you look in the world, you're going to see everyone complaining about everything. That's what we're trained to do. Because that's the easiest thing to actually do. Who on earth cannot open his mouth and complain about anything? What most people cannot do is to work towards solutions. Because this is a lot of work. Unfortunately, that's what you have to do. If you truly want to build a great business, you have to stop complaining about anything that's wrong. Instead, pay attention to what people complain about and ask yourself, how can we solve this problem? Again, this makes you feel like a messiah and that's fine because until you feel a great responsibility towards the world, until you are angry about something and you're willing to spend your whole life changing it, until you think like a messiah, you can't build a great company. 
5. Stop being competitive. Life is competitive. That's what we're made to believe. You have to compete against everyone in high school. You have to do the same in the university. You have to compete against everyone to get a job. It's the survival of the fittest. But that's not really the spirit that makes you build a great company. While in the outside world, you see great companies competing against each other, the strength of their competition is the cooperation. Think of it like a soccer match. Soccer is one of the most competitive sports in the world, right? But that competition can only be won by cooperation. The team that wins is always the team that works together. You see the picture here? While you're going to have to compete in the business, your strength of competition will come from your ability to build a great team, from alliance and partnership with others. Just as the soccer team must pay attention to their team than the competition, it's important that anyone who wants to be successful in business know how to build a great team, cooperate with others, and form alliances. In summary, the first thing to do when starting a business isn't to look for the capital or an office building. The very first thing you have to do is to change your worldview. You have to change the way you see yourself in relation to the way you see the world. You have to stop seeing yourself as a victim. You have to start seeing yourself as a victor, a messiah, someone who can challenge and change things, someone who the world needs for important progress and advancement. Yes, this comes with some pride, but there's no other way to build a successful business other than to think that you can change the world. And there's no way to believe that you can change the world without some level of pride. That's why Steve Jobs said, those who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are those who can change the world.